Leos, and welcome to your horoscope for October of 2020, where this month, Leo, there's some course corrections. There are some changes, some of which I think are a little bit not necessarily unexpected, but more so like you've been waiting to have the uh, the chutzpah to kind of break out. And we'll definitely see you, I think, taking on some of those energies as we get into November since we end this month with a full moon that's not only in Taurus, but it is right there conjunct Uranus as well. So this is kind of that pop you out energy that I think maybe some of you have also been waiting for to take things in a little bit of a surprising direction. So we'll get to all of that in a minute. Now coming up this month, the eat and greets are just fire. We've got Basil Farrington, Jessica Lignato, Shane M. Nygaard, Julio Pellegrini will be here, Sarah D. Haven, Melissa LaFara. I could just go on, but I listed them right here you so you can see everybody who is coming. And now if you want to watch the eat and greets on replay ad free. You can come on over and become a patron and join me on my Patreon. Now the Patreon will continue to grow as well, but right now we've got the eat and greets there because I do understand 28 ads in a video is a lot and that is the way YouTube is living their best life right now. So if you would like to see them ad free, come and join me on Patreon. Remember you can also see them and listen to them on not only Patreon, you can stay right here on YouTube, but you can hear them on the podcast as well. As well this month, I will be going on a little bit of a field trip. I'll be heading over with Astrology University to the Summit of Astrology and World Events, October 3rd and 4th. It is free to watch it live. You can pay for the all access pass to see it back if you want to catch all the rest of the speakers. As well, I'll be joining Achuta Bhava in his Nightlife Speaker Series on October 17th. That is free as well. You just need to be registered to get the link. So come on over and let's travel. Let's go on a field trip. We always have people over here. Let's take a field trip and go talk to some other people, okay? I look forward to seeing you guys in all of it. Everything's in the description box down below. All right, Leo, let's get in here. So right at the beginning of the month, we've got a full moon happening at nine degrees of Aries. This lights up your ninth house space. Now the full moon says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So we're going to create a shift here. However, the ruling planet of this full moon is Mars and he is retrograde. So this gives me a sense and some indication of what's going on here. First of all, educational things, higher learning, things about faith, things about your expansion. So even if this comes down for you, Leo, in your life to something with immigration, something with law, something with law school, wherever you would want to have that higher mind, higher aim, expand out, something with languages, whatever it is, the full moon is causing for a correction or a shift or to bring something to closure, you know? Are you graduating? Did you finish that horary class? Did you finish that paralegal class? Did you finish that Spanish class? I mean, whatever it is. But as Mars is retrograde here, this full moon gives me this thought that also what's happening is that you've done it. Something's taking the shift, but Mars doesn't have that forward motion. He's not ready to go out there and be like, yes, I've, I've taken the class. I finished it. I'm ready to go. Let me, let me set up shop, right? Mars might have your motivation a little like hinky right now or a little low key. And that's okay because what Mars retrograde does for you this month and at this moon is give you a chance to not only make the shift in the adjustment, but get some strategy behind where you're going to go next, gather up some assertion so that as you go forward, you can really put it out there, okay? Now, because Mars is retrograde as well, if you did have an educational situation that you were having to go back to, maybe you had to take a break, you had a baby, something happened in the family, you just didn't do it, this would be a good time to go back to it and go ahead and make the adjustment and get back in there as well. On the second, Venus is moving into the energy of Virgo, which I love for you this month. Leo, I love it. It's good to your finances. It gets to the nitty gritty. It's discerning. What's the priority? What am I doing here? I want my money to have the most integrity. I want how I'm making my money to have the most integrity. Not to mention this Venus movement here is going to make connections to Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto. They're grounded. Everybody's getting ready to be out of retrograde because just in two days on the fourth, Pluto will come direct. So the way that you make money in a daily way 
way on your daily grind, your freelance, your hustle. Venus and the Capricorn Council are blessing that at this time. So tell me what's happening for you this month, um, Leo, with your money. I'm really curious to know, but this Venus is trying to be attractive and magnetic and bring some harmony to this area. On the 13th, Mars is going to go retrograde at 12 degrees of Scorpio. It will slide back into Libra at the end of the month, but we're going to start this retrograde at 12 degrees of Scorpio, lighting up the fourth house zone for you. Home, family, real estate, property, your own internal foundation, the places you call home, your parents, you know, all of these things are now going to go under deep review. You're going to revise, re-edit, reconnect, re-evaluate, reunion. You're going to do all of those things as Mercury is traveling back through this energy of Scorpio. If there are fears, fears of transition in this particular area, Mercury is going to take you with Scorpio through that zone to see maybe what's the hold up here, what's the fear, because it does need to transform and it also needs to be an area that's allowed to be vulnerable enough for transformation. So home zone area, keep your eyes on the prize, okay? On the 16th, we've got a new moon happening at 24 degrees of Libra. This is going to light up your third house. So at the new moon, we're planting our seeds of intention. What would you like here? What do you want to see blossom? I always remind people at a new moon, whatever you plant for good or for ill, that's what you're going to work on for at least four weeks, okay? So be mindful of the energy you're putting out there around the moon most specifically. But here, you have an opportunity to say, okay, in my communication style, in my learning, in my training, in my communication, I would like to begin a balance of, I would like to have this in my relationships. I would like to, you know, Venus, I would like to have this area of my life be very attractive, call into my space, contracts, books, the words to write my book, the word for my website, the words for my article, healing with my siblings, healing of my own mind and thought process, the money, Venus, to take this course and do this study, whatever it is, plant those seeds of intention at this new moon so we can watch them get set to blossom out over this next handful of moon cycles, okay? On the 22nd, we see the sun moving into the energy of Scorpio, joining Mercury up there. So this again is the fourth house space, but the sun is light, heat, life, and vitality. So there's a motivation to really take care of and be home, be with people, be in the night side of your chart with this energy, spend time with mama, spend time, you know, loving on yourself, spend time getting secure and solid and anchored. What's got you anchored right now, Leo, and getting to explore that. Now the sun moving here as well could equally speak to some of you. Maybe you're getting new housing or you're moving. Ooh, somebody could be moving in. We did just have that new moon. So are you moving in together? If that's you, let let me know in the comment section down below. Are you starting to work from home? Is that it? Did you finally get the tech and you're ready? You're like, yep, okay, I'm for sure going to work from home. Whatever that is, let me know in the comment section down below, please. On the uh, 24th, this is a day I wanted to tell you about. Venus is going to trine Saturn. And I like this energy because what's happening here is that this is a great day to make a commitment, right? If you've got a commitment or something that you want to make, you want to make it official. This is a great energy for that because a long-term commitment made this day has long-lasting effects and is usually very, very positive. So the 24th is your day, my friends. On the 27th, we see that Mercury retrograde sliding back into the energy of Libra now in that third house space. So you're going to relook over communication, contracts, details. If you sell real estate, you buy or you sell things. Oh, somebody could be getting a new car. I would tell you, uh, you maybe address the fact that you need a new car if you're going to buy one during a Mercury retrograde, I just want you to be mindful. Get all of it in. Read all the fine print. Take somebody else with you so there's multiple set of eyes on there. But ultimately, if you need a new car, you need a new computer, you need a new whatever that has these tiny gadgets, you got to replace what you've got to replace. But just know that down the road, there may be some kind of adjustment that comes with that. And it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means we're doing it in a retrograde. So we maybe have to review it again when things come forward. Forward, okay. 
On the 31st, as we end this month, we're going to see the full moon happening in Taurus right there conjunct Uranus. This lights up the tip top part of your chart. So it gives me that indicator that, yay, you finished your school, your education, you did all that stuff that the, at the beginning of the month, you finished your training. And now here you are with this full moon at the end of the month. Are you going to change your job? Are you going to end, acknowledge, or adjust something in your career or in what we know you as? This is the thing. The 10th house is not just career. It's also what do we call you? What's your title? You know, on the 24th, did you get married? Did you go from Mr. or or did you go from single to Mr. or Mrs. such and such? Did you did somebody move into your house? Did somebody move out of your house? Because roommates or roommate lists, like what do we know you as? This can also speak very much to adjustments in what we call you and know you as, as much as it can to the career as well. But Mars is still retrograde, so if you're making a change, even a surprising change of direction in your career or in what we know you as, you may be limping your way there, but it will definitely be happening. Remember, the retrograde energy as of the 4th of October does continue to decrease as we walk forward towards the end of the year, so things are moving forward. The outside world is moving forward, so the opportunity for forward progress and advancement is there, just the motivation may still be a little bit quiet right now while Mars is in retrograde. But make your plan, make your strategy moving forward, invite the unexpected because it's ultimately creating an adjustment that is needed in your course for sure. All right, Leos, I think it's going to be a good month. It's still every month we get is one that we get and you can do something productive with it. There's an evolutionary goal out there for every single one of us. So hopefully you get to use October to a uh, Use that on your path, okay? I look forward to seeing you in the eat and greets at all of the speaker things in all of astrology ever and right here in our space on this channel every week, okay? All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Leo.